Hey guys, my name is Casey and I'm a writer here in New York City and as the introduction to this video showed, I'm doing a Sex in the City related video. I feel like because I'm a writer in New York and I just moved here about two months ago, everyone's associated me with Carrie Bradshaw, which I love because I love Sex in the City. Um, so I thought I would make a little like maybe series or video about my life here in New York and how it is honestly really similar to Sex in the City. I luckily do not have a Mr. Big, so do not worry. Um, but I have been dating around in New York and I think it'd be fun to kind of bring you guys along to like me and my friends conversations about dating Just things of that sort very like montage sex in the city vibe Anyways, um, I hope you enjoy this week's video like and subscribe and comment below if you want to see more sex in the city related videos Like many New Yorkers or people my age, I've found myself in a situationship of sorts which I didn't even mean to get myself into, it just always sort of happens. But I was on my way to this chess event with my friend Cece when... Hey vlog, I'm with Cece again. <laughs> um, we're going to a chess event. We're going to a chess event where they've made a board out of ice. We will report more when we find out more. <laughs> when I saw this text post that read, in a situationship, you're either the one with commitment issues or you're the one with low self-esteem. And I was just like, oh my god, which one am I? I think I have a Just. Oh shit. Wait, I am so confused. Which one is the king? I love how girl confusing as like right now. Wait, is this one the king? Getting in New York is like playing chess. Move too quickly and you might end up losing yourself. Or even worse, your queen. Is torching included in the clock? Right? Get on yeah, yes, it is. Second, second. Can you just use a little bit of water? Yeah, we can try that. Do you want to get a bowl? All right, sorry. When I got home that night, I couldn't help but wonder. In a city that never sleeps, are we all just sleepwalking through situationships, hoping to find something real in a generation that's more comfortable with what if than what now? And so, like any young person would do, I decided to ignore my situationship and go to Philly. <laughs>
about to go play pickleball with my friend Cece. Um, this is the fit. We got an all black attire, cherry earrings, of course. Ignore the mess of my room. I literally just got back from work, changed, <laughs> and I'm at the door. Um, let's go pickleball it up, I guess. Yeah, why be sad over a boy when you can play pickleball? <laughs> And then I got ready to go see a show with my gay husband, Santi. <laughs> um, we had tickets to go see The Notebook on Broadway and then get dinner after, and it was truly a magical evening. J'aime beaucoup la danse. This is my girlfriend. We're also actually fiance. In love. We're actually so We're in getting love. married next month. Yeah, video just dropped. We're getting married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come to the wedding. Thank you so much. Uh, next month. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've never cried more in a show in my life. No, like three times in that one. <laughs> I am severely <laughs> unwell, but also well at the same time. So love is real. There's, love is so real. But also, so I wanna, Alzheimer's. I want to be loved. <laughs> me? I want to be loved now. Does me want to text my ex? <laughs> Thank you for holding my hand. <laughs> no, I couldn't tell. I was like, she's missing her grandfather. And you know what? Now I'm thinking about my grandfather. I miss and my how, grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Red Dog. No, I He's also like one of his best friends. All of his friends are right there. And he's like, oh my god, how are you? I was like, I don't agree. And there's a silence to go, how are you after ghosting me? And what do they have to say? Dad, stunned, too stunned to speak. And he just looks at me and he's like, <laughs> and then his friends are like, hey, what? And I was like, up. Oh. I'm loose. <laughs> I love being a straight gay man. <laughs> This morning, I've never been. I'm feeling very Carrie Bradshaw going to go right on a Sunday morning, so that's how you know. So, during my writing group, I wrote this really sad poem <laughs> um, called Nectarine. I miss July the way I miss being 17. Before I knew I could just be someone's choice. Before I knew I could run out of love to give. Because all I long for is to jump dive into the pools of your sweaty skin. 
Swim laps in the folds of your stomach and arm covered tattoos. And if that's not love, then I don't know what is. Red peel and orange for you that you don't even want. Because all you like to do is bite the skin of a cherry, lick her juices and spit the seed. And for once, I just wish you were me. Because I can't tell if you actually want me, or if it's just anatomy plucking away your vulnerability and gifting it to me like a sweet nectarine, your secrets dribbling down my chin. All my life I've been told the love I give is a gift, but I only feel it like a curse, suffocating me from the inside out, keeping you afloat. That night my tears grew water lilies in their lily padded bed. Their vines pulled me beneath their salty water's edge, and I watched from the bottom of my sinking heart your eyes dance in your sleep, and I wondered if it was her you were dreaming about instead of me. Hey guys, so I'm on my way to CeCe's event. They're hosting a sex trivia for Asians for Sex Positivity, their event that they host, or like their organization that they founded. Um, yeah, <laughs> a situation ship just DM'd me. Anyways, I'm the worst. I they just got a, a DM from one of the guys I've been seeing in the city, and it's like, I've been ignoring you for a reason. <laughs> I need to stop recording. What could be more sex in the city coded? Um... Hey you, I know that you're lonely, baby. Yeah, I know that you're lonely too. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> I'd rather be alone with you. This writing water yeah. is really taking me out of the way. Hey you, I know that you're lonely, baby. I know that you're lonely too. I'd rather be alone with you. Yeah. After Mon Petit Rendezvous, I ran into my friend Santi because sometimes the city just knows exactly what you need. Oh, sorry. It's just the dance I do when I run into Casey in public. Look at you. Is somebody cooking for me? It's actually I. I'm a gardener. These are, this mint is fresh from the garden. I'm more in love. New York, Tokyo, Milano, and Paris. You have to feel that music. You have to understand Baroque, jazz, to modern, to world music. It's, it's fantastic. Let me finish telling my collarbone story. <laughs> I broke the fuck out of my collarbone. I get back up and I hail a cab. And I hail another cab, I go home. I go right up the stairs, I go right to bed. Like, like, I think I broke my collarbone. And you're like, no you didn't, no you didn't. And you're like, like x-ray, he gets the x-ray and he goes, oh. And I go, wait, can we share with the class? Like, what's the O for? And he goes, so I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you, but like, there is possibly a collarbone fracture. And I was like, I fucking knew it. And then like two seconds later, they come over with like a Percocet. And they're like, so you fractured your collarbone. Like, do you want Percocet? And I was like, send it to me, please. Yeah. And then I called out of work and then I got in trouble for that. And then I walked myself home because I may have a situation ship in the city, but at least I have good friends.